Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that we have at the jewelry store where I work. And it helps me to prioritize and organize. And in the meantime, we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday, and I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, there are eBay links and emails. If there's anything you're interested in, or if you would just like to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message. Anyway, let's get digging. Hey, okay, check it out. What do you think we have beside us today? I have quite a few rings to go through, and I, I thought we had gone through the bulk of it already, honestly. But I have a pile just as big as ever beside me right now. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. This is going to be a ring episode. I hope you like rings because that's what we have today. So let's get started with the rings. Here's the first one. It's got a blue tone and a clear. And it is uh, 14 karat what? What does that mean? Sometimes it's hard to get them loop in to show marks on the rings. Oh, come on. 14K T G T H G E. 14 carat H B E. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It looks sus. It feels sus. I just don't imagine that it's genuinely 14 karat gold. See? Yeah, 14 karat plated, sure. Where are we gonna start? Middle, middle at the top? Sure. I guess we could adjust a little bit here for now. Okay, first ring. Next ring, I'm just trying to be really random here. This is a really cool faceted piece of amethyst. That's very unique, isn't it? It's a larger size. I don't see a mark in there anywhere. But that's pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> what is this? Is that like someone's gum shoved into a setting? That's what it looks like. I don't think so, but it's an adjustable and it's, I don't even know. I don't, I honestly just don't even want to look any further at it. That's it, we're moving on. Here's a nice sparkly one to cleanse the palette. <laughs> Big, huge square clear piece in the center there. Pretty interesting design on the sides there. I don't see any mark though. Here's another ring. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna not say here's another ring every time. Silver curly Q open work and a little garnet there. And it is marked 925. Oop. Yeah, you can be the first one to go up here. Here is a men's ring and it is, is huge <laughs> and it's got a piece of tiger's eye in it and what could be a couple of little diamonds. Let's test those out. What does it say inside here? It's very worn. Oh, it says 18 uh, TGE and you can see that silver mark is where someone has tested it with a file and acid. So you can see it's just plated, 18 karat gold plated. But this could still be a diamond here. But except it's not, not a diamond. That big boy can go right there. Here's another gnarly looking thing. It's got stones missing, very strange. On the back side here, it's losing all of its coloration. And 
That's another gold plated piece there. Okay. Ooh, this one's cute. Little gold and coral. Uh, coral. <laughs> I said coro. That's adorable. Nice little marquee shaped coral piece. Let's see if we have a mark. 18 karat HGE. So again, plated just like this guy. Now that I mention it, they have a similar like thin feeling to them. They could be from the same maker, I think. Here's a sparkly dude like this that the nice looking um, aquamarine and clear stones. That's quite pretty. And no mark in there. But yeah, that is very pretty. I'll never hold it against a ring for not being real metal when it's that pretty. Here's another one with blue. It's kind of fun. Two oval shapes sort of offset on an angle and two smaller stones. And no mark there either. And it is quite magnetic. Here's a silver one and a band, sort of a braided silver band. 925. It feels 925. It also feels like maybe it's been rhodium plated. It's in such decent shape right now. That would explain that to me. Here's a piece of onyx and marcasite in silver. And that says MK. V925. All right. This looks like it goes with another one. It looks like they are meant to fit together. We've got missing stones there. Another plated piece. It says 14. T H G E. Dang it. I'm going to have to pause the video right now so that I can speak to that because I feel like we're going to see it more going forward here. Hang on. All right, folks, we've got it figured out. The T is part of the carrot, so it's 14 KT for carrot, and it's high grade electroplate. HGE, high grade electroplate is what that means. So hopefully we find a matcher for that guy. Um, or put you there for now. High grade electroplate. Like, is that really that much better than uh, normal electroplating? I have no clue. Here's another one with a piece of garnet and potentially two little diamonds on the side. That's like a men's ring. It's quite small though for a men's ring, but it has that masculine style. And in here, GEP, gold electroplate again. I don't see the carrot, but either way, there it is. Very nice. Here's a trash, a trash piece that's all worn and missing something from the middle. You can go back here and just fill space. Here's one with a stone, a blue stone and little silver or clear ones as well. The classic kind of cluster style like that. No marks for silver even, but cute. Here's another silver ring, sort of a wrappy, wavy thing. And no mark. Put you up here. I'm going to start filling in these other spots too, I guess. Okay. Here's one with turquoise and silver. Whether that's real turquoise or not, I'm not sure. But it looks like real silver. Yeah, 925 and then there's some sort of a signature there. Just a small little simple dude. Simple little dude. There you go. Here is a silver band with a diamond shape. Just uh, all the way around the same design. 
and I'll put you here. And this is cute. Looks like a piece of opal, but I'm not seeing any color flash there. And it's in this really worn, brassy looking band. Look at that. 18 karat, high grade electroplated. Apparently, it must have been worn a lot then to end up looking like that. Here's another one, large size, big green, emerald green drop style with clear rhinestones down the sides. 925HMI on that one. That's a nice green. It's a bit lighter than you'd expect on a faux emerald, but it is what it is. This one has some CZs or no? Nah? Yeah, it looks like they put one fake stone in there. Yeah, that's weird. And it's 925HNT. Here's another kind of Celtic y looking braided silver. 925. Ooh, this is kind of funky. Looks like inlaid turquoise, perhaps. A little bit of design on the edges. It's got HC stamped in it. And it's quite big. Like, probably a men's size, but very cool. Anyway, I like that. You can go down to the bottom of that finger there. Here's a piece with um, some heated and pressed amber. I mentioned in a previous episode that when you find amber that's got that confetti sequin, like it almost looks like perfect circles in there, it's because the amber has been heated and softened and pressed and that's when that is created. The heating uh, process creates those. As pretty as it is, that's what's up. Here's another one in gold tone with marquee shaped clear stones. No marks. There we go. We got that guy filled up. Whew, it goes on and on here, you guys. Here's another one. That's really pretty with like a red garnet and clear stone. No mark there, but that's a good size for my mom. <laughs> for my mom. Tell me what you think, mom. Let's move these ones out of the way. That way we can see it. Okay. Here's another silver band with sort of a Greek cutout. 925. Ooh, I can hear it pour and rain outside. I'm warm and cozy in here. And here's a silver tone one with a, a stone in it as well. Clear stone. No marks. Here's one with a big clear stone. Round cut and little guys along the sides. Oh, along all the way around, actually, and we're missing one. So there's this little peekaboo window there. All right. There's a nice little solitaire looking one. Not much going on, and the stone looks pretty dull. Here's one with jade. This is kind of a cool setting though. It's a drop shaped jade and a very geometric setting. That's pretty cool actually. And it is marked as sterling. Okay, <laughs> trying to find room for all of these. Might have to back things up a little bit. For a second or two and the next one is 
a pearl. Well, backing it up doesn't help much when we want to actually look at the thing, does it? Come on. There's a pearl and a clear stone there. It's a faux pearl. And it is also marked. Um, 14 karat high grade electroplated. This one is a little opal there and tiny stones to the sides. 18 karat high grade electroplated. Wow, somebody really put these together in one bag, it seems. <laughs> Here is, woo, that is a little plaque for RCMP, I'm guessing. It's almost, diff it's very difficult to read still. The plaque itself, you can see it's copper, but the, the band says sterling. Is that what it is? Let's see. No, it's got an anchor on it, so it's not RCMP. I don't know, probably uh, something to do with the Canadian Marine. So here is one with silver, with a clear marquee. It's got a tag on it, like from a store, and it says size six, twenty three dollars, and it says. 18 karat high grade electroplated as well. It's nice and sparkly though. I do like that about it. This is a sad little sight to see with no stone. Roughly made once upon a time. Here's some chip turquoise in a silver band with no no numbers, nothing to see there. Oh, here's a reverse cameo in hematite. So it's been carved down into instead of a relief being out from. It's quite a big ring, I gotta say, and it's in rough shape. What does that say? Huh. I've seen this type of band on Sarah Coventry stuff. Is that what this is? Wow, that's hard to see. Hmm. Does it say Sarah Cuff? I don't know, but I think maybe it does. It's very big, though. So. Very large and in charge. Here's a piece with onyx, it looks like. Faceted black. And no marks. Here's a little silver band with some ziggy zaggies. It's got a symbol there and it's marked 925. Ooh, a spoon ring. I love these. Decorative spoon handle. And it is marked but made marked by the the spoon maker. Well, it says sterling. I think those are fun. I think they're pretty too. I like them a lot. Let's put it there. See, change the scene a little bit and show the other side, I suppose. Um, next is this one with some turquoise and coral. Just a cute little thin one. Ooh, I have to turn it this way. It's better for the light. For me to see, no marks that I can see in there right away. Here's another one with some clear stones. This one is, in fact, 10 karat gold fill, as opposed to being plated. That's nice. Here's one with some princess cut stones. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I wouldn't be upset about that. 925 initials PS. Might must be the maker. Okay. 
Here's another silver band. This is a fidget ring. It's got that spinning center braid look for 925. Ooh, this is fun. Look at that. Opal. Like a elongated cluster with this one little, oh no, there's two little stones there. I suppose we'll check and see if they're, you know, the D word. <laughs> Nine two five. That's really pretty though. It's really picking up a lot of different colors there in the opals. Let's see. Nope. But that one is a winner. I like that one. Where can we put you where we'll continue to see you? Like that. Here's a cluster style one, but ew, does it look nasty. With like an illusion setting thing happening in the middle. And that one says Taiwan. Here's a cluster with the little faux pearls and AB coated and some sort of filigree looking stuff, but we have stones missing. And this one, similar back to that one I was trying to read that I thought might say Sarah Cove. And this one does say Sarah Cove. So I even more think that I was correct about the other. Here's another piece of tiger's eye in a silver setting. And that one says T-O-R-O-U, I guess. I don't know. All right. Woo! Are you bored of rings yet? I've got still quite a few beside me. I am not bored of it though, so stick around. This is kind of cool. It's almost got like a fleur de lis look without being actually a fleur de lis look. 925 with that star. What does that star mean? I don't know. What does this star mean? With these little swirlies, kind of Celtic, but with a pentagram. Here is a little enamel piece, like a little wrap style. That's super cute with a tulip and a, I don't know, daisy or something. But that's enamel paint in there. And it is marked Thailand. That's super cute. I like that. This one has opal. Opal something like a mixture. It looks like it's in Matrix. Freeform shape and cute little setting on it. That says T E E H L and sterling on it. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Here's a teeny tiny little signet ring that has not yet been engraved. It's it fits on the pinky for me. Very tiny and cute. And it has the initial ML. And on this side, do we have a metal mark at all? No. Is it magnetic? Yes. <laughs> That answers it for us. That's too bad because signet rings are hot right now and that little tiny one would probably sell easily. Here's silver and a turquoise chip heart. No marks. Here is a fairly solid band that has some swirlies and it looks like a little piece of amethyst there. 925. Nice. Another silver band here with a wood grain, it looks like. Sort of carved into it. It's a rough shape on the inside, but I don't see any marks there either. Oh, this one's tiny looking. It's got some CZs. And uh, it's pretty solid, but look at how 
It's thick, 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 but I can't even get it past my knuckle there. She's pretty small. Here's another old tone ring, but this is adjustable and something that was glued is no longer glued. So that's pretty much garbage. This is interesting. This is a nail, like an old style nail, right? Like with the square head on it. And that looks like a W, I suppose. I don't know if that's meant to be a maker's mark, but this is kind of uh, an interesting ring. I don't know what to make of that modernist or, or is it just like a homemade crafty situation? This has got some pink sort of cat's eye something or other with marcasite. Pretty. This is straight up a piece of brass hammered, it appears anyway. I don't know. Very organic, isn't it? This one too. Oops. Oh, Ooh. getting rowdy in here. This one's got like a silver knot, but the back is not in good shape. You can see the copper coming through or the brass and it's all bent out of shape. Oh my goodness. A couple more and I think we're good for this episode. This is kind of cool. I wish that was real because I do like the look of that with the stones and it's very swoopy dupe. I'm usually drawn to a swoopy dupe. I don't see any mark there for anything though. Here is a faux emerald. Ooh, is that ever tiny? This looks like a real emerald. Again, look at that. Oof, it's very small and tight. Got like a sizing thing in there. I don't know. It feels so good. It feels like really good quality. And that looks like real emerald to me. We'll test the diamonds. Yeah, that looks real. Dang. Why you do this to me, emerald? Why you gotta be like that? It feels like a really good quality. Like looking at where everything is attaching. Hmm. If these are diamond, then I'm going to bank that it's gold and that there is a mark under that sizer. <laughs> Shut up. Really? Oh, I slipped off. I slipped again. It just keeps sliding around. They're so tiny. Dang, guys, they are. It's diamond and emerald for sure. <gasps> Look at how pretty. So underneath of that, I wonder if there's a sizing. Or I mean a purity mark. Ooh, dude. You can go on top of that right there. So we keep looking at you. Okay, there's a couple left here, but we're going to save them for next time. That's about all I can take right now. <laughs> Good find at the end though. Yay for emeralds. Look at that. That is all, all rings. I have filthy fingers from all of the dirty silver, but I don't care. That was fun. That was, that's a lot of rings. And uh, I hope you enjoyed too. If you did, don't forget to click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. I upload a new video every Sunday. And if you click the robots in love at the bottom too, that'll take you to my channel and you can enjoy other videos. I have a lot of different hauls on there between now and next Sunday when we can hang out again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.